Day 14 of our pants review, day 14 out of 30. Today's question is going to be, what is the definition of hypertension? More specifically, what is the JNC8 definition of hypertension and how do you treat it? How do you define hypertension? How do you diagnose hypertension? And how do you treat it? Okay. The definition of hypertension is a blood pressure of 140 over 90, so over 140 or over 90, so systolic 140 or higher, or diastolic 90 or higher. So if we got 141 over 80, that's still hypertension. If we got 122 over 91, that's still hypertension. If we got 180 over 110, that's definitely hypertension. Uh, but anyway, so a blood pressure reading of 140 over 90, either one of those or both, on two separate occasions. So again, the JNC8 definition of hypertension, diagnosable hypertension, is a blood pressure over 140 systolic or one or over 90 diastolic, over 140 systolic or over 90 diastolic on two separate occasions. Okay, um, the treatment for hypertension, of course, is lifestyle modification. But if we're talking medication treatment, so lifestyle modification, as in increasing hydration with clear water, reducing sodium, weight loss, that kind of situation for lifestyle mods, exercise, of course. Um, medication treatment is going to be thiazides like HCTZ, hydrochlorothiazide, ACE inhibitors, lisinopril, uh, things like that, ARBs, uh, losartan. Uh, and what is that? Oh, calcium channel blockers, uh, like what the hell is a calcium channel blocker? Oh God. Amlodipine. There we go. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out, uh, a medication that I've prescribed literally thousands of times at this point. Um, but anyway, so one more time, the JNC8 definition, diagnosable definition of hypertension is blood pressure over 140 systolic and or 90 diastolic on two separate occasions. Treatments for hypertension are going to be lifestyle modification, thiazide diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide, ACE inhibitors like lisinopril, ARBs like losartan, and calcium channel blockers like amlodipine. And I'll even go a little bit further because this can also definitely end up on the pants because everybody's different, patients are different. So for Caucasians, Caucasian patients, the first line treatment Medication-wise, everybody's first-line treatment, of course, is lifestyle mods, but if that fails uh, or their blood pressure is just absolutely high and you know that you need to go medication management at that point, the first-line treatment for Caucasians is going to be an ACE inhibitor or an ARB or a thiazide diuretic. For African-Americans, this is where it gets different, for African-Americans, the first-line treatment is a thiazide diuretic or a calcium channel blocker. So not an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, okay? So that's one big thing that is going to come up frequently is first-line treatments, medication treatment for hypertension of Caucasians is going to be usually an ACE inhibitor. And then ARBs, thiazide diuretics are also common first choices, but usually it's going to be an ACE inhibitor. And then for African-Americans, it's not an ACE inhibitor. It's not an ARB. The first choice is going to be a thiazide or a calcium channel blocker. Also, one more little caveat is for people with CKD, chronic kidney disease, the first line is going to be an ACE inhibitor or an ARB regardless of race, okay? So I'm going to say that one more time because it's very important and because it's also kind of confusing. So if somebody has hypertension, you've diagnosed hypertension, you're starting a medication for the first time for hypertension, if they are Caucasian, you usually start with an ACE inhibitor like lisinopril. If they are African-American, you usually start with a thiazide or a calcium channel blocker. So you either put them on hydrochlorothiazide or you put them on amlodipine. If the person has chronic kidney disease, CKD, you're going to do an ACE inhibitor or an ARB. Even if they're African-American, regardless of race, you're going to start an ACE inhibitor or an ARB because it is renal protective. All right. So question one more time. What is the definition of hypertension and what are the treatments? Go back in the video if you'd like the answers to those questions.